What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Trouble as police threatens to arrest Amoteko members. Nigerians react. All right, guys. Before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there's a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button, then click the bell icon beside it to stay updated whenever we publish news like this without you missing any news again. All right, here are the news in details. On Thursday, January 9, 2020, governors of Nigerian six southwest state of Ogun, Oshun, Oyo, Ekiti, and Ondo and Lagos State launched the Western Nigerian Security Network called Operation Amoteku in Ibadan, the state or your state capital. The governor say Amoteku will complement the police and other security outfits in the Federation and not replace them. However, the police appear not to be favorably disposed to the idea of a regional security outfit, and its commissioners in the state have been talking tough. All right, according to Punch reports, the police public relations officer in Ogun State, Abimbola Oyeyemi, has warned that any civilian of Operation Amotekun found guilty of using unlicensed firearms will be arrested. Oyeyemi was quoted as saying that anybody who does not belong to any security agency such as the army, police, and the custom cannot bear AK-47 rifles. You cannot be in position of a prohibited firearms and you expect us to condone that. For example, somebody who does not belong to any security agency such as the army, the police, and the custom cannot carry an AK-47 rifle. You cannot carry a palm action Oyeyemi said. In a similar vein, the police public relations officer of the Ondo State Police Command, CSP Femi Joseph, says anyone who wish to get firearm should get the license. He says there are categories of firearms. The ones that are prohibited are those ones using cartridges. If you are carrying them without being licensed, it is illegal. But the Dane guns used by local hunters in the farms are not prohibited because they don't use cartridges. Essentially, the police is saying members of Amoteko are only permitted to use Dane guns and not, sophistic and not sophisticated guns. The spokesperson of the Kiti State Police Command, Sunday Abutu, has also warned that any member of Amoteko caught bearing prohibited firearms will be arrested. Abutu said it is the responsibility of the police to arrest and prosecute any individual or group bearing arms illegally. The approved local vigilante group can only carry Dane guns. Even people that are going to use those ones, Dane guns and local guns, have to be approved by the police. The police knows those ones that are prohibited and the ones that such group can use. Once we see anybody or group with prohibited firearms, we will arrest them because they are not allowed to carry such, Abutu said. Punch quote an anonymous police security police officer in the head, force headquarters as saying, the law on the use of bearing of firearms is clear. Only the police and the members of the armed forces are permitted to bear or use firearms. Therefore, Amotekun operatives are not allowed to bear firearms. This is beyond their mandate. Any of them found with AK-47 rifles or any modern weapon will be arrested and prosecuted. Since the Amoteku personnel consists of hunters, vigilantes, and other local guards, they may bear Dane guns. I believe this is, this is permitted since hunters are allowed to carry Dane guns for hunting. But the police will not close their eyes to illegal use of firearms or to the acquisition and use of sophisticated rifles and other deadly weapon. Polls understand that Amoteko personnel will be drawn from the following, the Odua People's Congress, OPC, the Vigilante Group of Nigeria, the Southwest Hunters Association, the Southwest Agbekoya Group, Agbekoya Farmers Society Group, Yoruba Youth Council, and the Community Security Awareness Initiative Corps of Nigeria, they are the array of honor 
Kokalfo of Yoruba land, Chief Ghani Adams, is expected to lead them all under the aegis of the Southwest Stakeholder Security Group, SSSG. Lagos, Oshu, Ekiti State have announced they will enlist 1,320 Amotekun operatives from OPC and other vigilante groups. Nigeria operates a flawed federal system of governance with pundits calling for the restructuring of the federation that concentrate, that concentrate way too much power in the center at the expense of the state and local governments. A centrally controlled police force has often been accused of corruption, extrajudicial killing, human rights abuses, and an inability to protect and safeguard citizens. The governors of the Southwest state have, however, stated that they are not about to introduce a long clamor for state police through the back door with a multiple. Wow. All right, yeah, this is a serious and um, a developing story. It's just, uh, it's just a letter story that has just happened. The police have threatened to arrest any Amoteco member found with sophisticated gun. And what, what they mean by sophisticated gun is AK-47 and other sophisticated rifles. And of course, you guys know that this Amoteco is a newly formed security outfit for southwestern states. In fact, this is coming at a time that um, Nigerians are actually commending the southwestern governors for actually coming up with this initiative. Of course, you guys know that uh, security in Nigeria is a paramount issue now, especially we are going to zero in on the southwestern state. The reason why this Amotekun was actually formed by the southwestern governor is because of the security situation in the southwestern state. You guys remember how headsmen are having a field day kidnapping people, killing people at will, and you know, and one of the things that actually made the Southwestern governor to actually come together to form this Amoteco security outfit is the death of the daughter of one of the chief things of Afenifere, I think Paforanti, that's his name. So they killed this lady in the cold blood, and so this has not actually all got well, and the Southwestern governor had to come up with a secu security network no sooner had they come up with this that people began to have a foresight that they are going to be a problem. And even in one of my posts I posted, I foresee that there was going to be a problem because since this Amoteco is not a full-fledged police, a, um, state police, you understand me, they are going to have problem with the federal police. I'm referring to the police itself. They are going to have problem because um, the Amoteco itself is utterly superintended overseen and controlled by the police itself and now the police have have said have issued a warning that they are going to arrest any amoteco member found with any sophisticated rifle now this is a challenge guys this guy the headsman and this boko haram this bandit they carry sophisticated rifle such as ak-47 pump action rifle and the rest of them how do you expect amoteco operatives or militiamen to be able to withstand these headsmen who are carrying this pump action rifle grenade launchers i mean ak-47 how do you expect them and people don't trust nigerian police any longer i mean how do you expect them to me i feel the police should employ these guys into the police force and let them operate in their motorcycle wing that is what is supposed to be done. They should be employed by the federal government. They've, I mean, this is just my suggestion. I'm just trying to come up with that. Let them bear this rifle because for them to be effective, they need sophisticated rifle, not just those Dane guns they are talking of. And you guys remember, immediately this formation of this Amotecon was actually launched. People from this northern state began to actually um, come and they came against it. One of the two people that the two groups that actually uh, oppose it are the Mieti Allah Cattle Association. Their president threatened that the headsmen are not going to subject themselves to the justice of Amoteco militiamen. That's what they said. They threatened that their headsmen are going to fight back. And then another group again in the north, the northern youth uh, group, came up again and actually slammed the Amotec, the southwestern governor for trying to 
betray the federal government by establishing a motecon. So people, you know, Sami knew that immediately this guy said this, that there's going to be a problem. You know, this this country like complete dominance and people have been saying that the Fulani actually rule this country and they have an agenda because if you look at the security network in the whole country is so porous. Movement of these uh, um, uh, headsmen, they are having a free day. They're having a few day moving to anywhere, any part of their any part of the country without being restricted. So there need to be a watch. And that is why this Amotekun um, operative was actually launched to get information, make intelligence gathering, and preempt enemy movements. But this development by the police is not very welcomed at all. And Nigerians have begun reacting. I'm going to read some of the um, some of the reaction. Somebody here says, so where comes the license for headsmen AK-47? Somebody is asking, so where comes the license for AK-47? for headsmen AK-47, because the headsmen are operating AK-47, and they are going about with it. In fact, it is so conspicuous, everybody knows they are carrying this. Why are they not being prohibited? Another person here says, if the Nigerian police are up and doing what will bring about this, police should go and bury this their face in shame. Another person here says, funny police. So you people gave license to Boko Haram, kidnapper, and ISS killer before they start using it, Abi. Well, no fault of police. Another person here says, How many Fulani took license or took legal order before carrying AK 47? How many of them have you bring to justice? See Nigeria, see the northern affiliation and control. Say no to one Nigeria. Another person here says, He will pay, he will pay the piper, detect the tune. Oppressive forces must abide by the wish of their masters, the oppressor and his agents. Another guy says, what a rubbish. Another person here says, now, yes, this is a leading race. We will continue to excel. Others will follow. Another person here says, yes, and agree, but what about the headsmen bearing sophisticated arms and ammunition? Another guy here says, how many bandits that has Trump terrorized Zamfara State, Casina State, etc., has the police as the police arrested. Why is it that when the northerners are involved in crime, they do it with impunity? All right, guys, so there are a lot of comments here. Time will not permit me to go through. I want you to drop your own comment. Let me know what you actually think about this. So this is a very sad development. What do you think? Drop your comment. Let me know what you actually think about this. Thank you.